Draven or anything like that, which is an accelerant that you could try to use with Karthus. Instead, they opt for the Zaya. So there is all the physical damage. Comes in here, checks on the status of the Infernal. Oh Grave. boy, and now we're returning. In. He doesn't have six though. Looking for that stun. It's not going to matter. First blood, and now Tarzan in an awkward spot has to flash Off away. The board. Are we going to use Zaya uh, Viper's teleport here? to deduce who might be ahead of the current state of the game, but... Oh, nice read on the stun there. They're gonna do a ton of damage here to Sword, but the knockback and the flash from Haru is not enough damage. And look at Sword just hanging around. You can see Khan is not really helping him as Tarzan's gonna pick up the kill. The chilling spike comes in. TP is here from Faker trying to save the team, but Toby just walks in. Faker will pick up the kill oh. with the Requiem. This could be three here as, okay, Faker getting Toby. into the back line, but that is going to be his eventual death. The two Realistically wants to take right now. Requiem's up for Karthus. That's a lot of damage. Oh, boy. The Arctic Assault out of the pin here means that Griffin pick up a second Infernal. And the Requiem just coming in as uh, yeah. Tarzan saying, go for it, team. Go for the fight. And now Faker's going 1v5. Not sure about that one. He didn't have his flash, so he Griffin end up utilizing it there. And now everything is just falling around the map. see what SKT can do as Haru's still hanging around here. Looking for a play. The ultimate is going to come down. Teleport invested, but Toby might be going down here. They will have the damage with the Requiem and Viper in range here. But now we got Lahens all by himself. Has the stopwatch. Baker trying to go 1v2 on the backside as Lahens is kind of in no man's land here, teleporting in all by himself. That's gonna be a two for one in favor of SKT. It ends up being a two for one in favor of SK Telecom, but Jason getting solo XP and solo gold down okay. at the bottom. Khan wants to take the driver's seat here. He wants to lead this on the victory as Tarzan is gonna to have to flash away from that one. And nearly able to pick up that extra kill. So it looks really, really good on the screen, what just happened for SK Telecom, but the reality is that Griffin end up profiting way more. Sword gets so much solo XP. Go for a yeah. 5v5, we'll take it. As Griffin are thinking about it, but... It's gonna be a bit awkward right now. Teddy gets caught, forced to flash. Oh, trying to turn it around here, though. The Devour is there as Lahens gets in range, but they Toby, still no kill here. As once he comes out of that, no, they can't get him, but they do get the Binding up to Lahens. Calculated team fight as Khan wants to go in on Viper. That was insane stopwatch timing. Yeah. As we're continuing to go on, but they have the Tom Kench too as Baker's there all alone. There's more Griffin players. Without that Mountain Dragon, currently it would be a little bit too early given SK Telecom. Khan having Ooh to use the cut over the wall. Lahen's going in though. They look caught here as Khan trying to disengage with this ultimate. It's going to hook shot away. The Requiem comes in. And what he almost killed Kansi, Karthus if you are in a dire situation. So. And they're also yeah. a great yeah, you are. That's uh, that's the new age. Here we go, here we go, here we go. As, uh, okay, trying to get on in here. Toby not really able to do that as the binding once again is gonna go wide. Can't seem to land those ones, but the turret somehow in the background goes to something Oh like that. yeah. Oh god. I never I never really watched that show uh, myself. There you go. I As, couldn't quite uh, see it, yes. Finally, Griffin decide we're going to take the Baron. I feel like they definitely could have done that a while ago. We're trying ah, to burst down yes. the Karthus here. But uh, it is going to work, but he is going to be dead here. Bunch of damage coming out here. Let's see the stopwatches, boys. There you go. You got a couple down. Baker dying in the background as Toby is going to go down to his GA, but Baker's dead here. Can Griffin turn it around, looking for the Devourer over the wall. He will get it, but down will go Tom as SKT oh. looking to turn this one around. Viper. It's all going to be up to Viper, but he's all alone. He's just going to have to run away as the Baron goes Griffin. And the Karthus inside of this team fight. Now, if Griffin really on into his, into his depthified passive, and then the Guardian Angels are just making everything. That would be a way. Yeah? Yeah. He gets straight into the server. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, Team okay. Corruption is going to be denied there by Viper. Nice little dodge as, okay, we're going for the NARAM now. Just looking for it. Devour is going to be off. Maybe SKT can get one of these kills. Bit of damage coming on in as Khan is jumping in too. Sword taking a bunch of damage. They're not able to get his GA though. Take a look at Toby that nearly lost his as well. But although no. This is going to be really obnoxious here. Premature Requiem. Yeah. 
going to do a nice chunk, but everybody was shielded by the Lux. So a lot of that negated. They want to go for the 50-50, which is so bizarre. Yeah, Toby's just hitting the Baron. Take a look at that damage. Now Khan wants to punish him, but did he go too far? Faker. He's all alone over the wall. And I'm not sure that anybody oh. can save him. He's going to get burst down, and that's going to be the mistake there from Khan going all by himself, getting a little bit too excited. Probably a KT fan, but either way, it's not going to be able to get on in there and help his team. Now it's 5v4 in favor of Griffin, and they're still not ready. They want to wait for the Jace to teleport over to this Baron. They have to wait for the time being, and with only 40 seconds, they're going to have to do this quick. But if they get this Baron, it also converts into the Elder. And so this is definitely a very yeah. scary situation right now. They're just making sure that there's no steal potential now. They're going to beeline Barrel straight. And Baron. It's not going to be the second Elder, though. SKT got oh, the first Oh, it reset. One. Oh, boy. That's a big deal. We got oh, that's a really big in. deal. Griffin. Oh, they might be stuck oh, between a rock and a hard place. Man. Faker can get an epic ultimate. Here we go. Going in all by himself. Can he burst down Viper here? No, Viper's gonna stay alive with the Feather Storm, and the Feather's pulled back. And oh, and he's healed all the way back up. Look at all up. that steal, that's insane. But SKT, they push the boy, and it resets again. Oh, it again. Reset. It resets again. Can they get it, though? They will. The spike comes in, as now Toby's in the front line alone. Lahen's trying to take Carthus it up. needs one assist. Oh, boy. Not quite able to do the damage, though. Here goes Khan again, and they're gonna be able to take out the no, top. No, Requiem's fence, activated. It and Requiem comes in, and two of them are gonna be burst down, and now it's only Mata left over with the they, Elder buff. They gave him the presence of mind rune in order to reduce the cooldown on Karthus's ultimate. Oh no. I wasn't <laughs> quite, I, I, I couldn't quite see if maybe there was like a hair left or if the ultimate was about to come up in itself, but why that wasn't on their mind is beyond me. They're going to lose the game yeah, for it. This is going to be the end of the game, guys. The Elder goes SKT's way, but they just go a little bit too far after the fight. Back in the later stages of the game. They have scaling inside of it. That's probably going to be an AP Nico as well as the Camille and the Sona. Okay, let's see what they can Chobis do here. here too. Viper takes a hit to start it off. The Axe comes forward. They're just trying to poke first. Get the damage down as the flash comes in, and Teddy is ignited. Wow. Actually, he's going to go down. First part blood. of the reason why Khan is staying in, as now we're trying to bait this one. But who's baiting who? As Glenn is going to ult at the oh. exact right time, but is going to get shut down Obviously right there. Not the way that thing works. But uh, okay, now we're going for the TP coming on in. They got Gory right behind them. Big pop blossom is going to land. They will at least get Viper as Lahen. Because I'm, I'm just thinking, you know. Vitamization. Yeah. With the Infernal Dragon, things can definitely get very scary. Now, a doomsday scenario right now for SK Telecom is still a victory in and of itself, especially if it means that they end up getting priority. Tom Kench, though. He's really going for that one, but now they're going to try to get on top of Olaf, but that stopwatch and the flash away means he might be able to get away. Nice try by Gory to get on top of him, but where's the damage? He's going to live, and now it's a massacre on the side of SKT. Oh, my. There's no hope. Cover your eyes for your children as the triple kill comes out for Jovi. The gank does not work out in any sense of the word, and SKT get demolished. Yeah, and that's going to be the top tier one turret going down now for Griffin, as well as when they come off of the recall, Viper should be able to get the red buff and then position when we get a recall. Yeah, I mean, we saw it once already, and we're going to see it again as Khan. You can tell he's frustrated. He wants to get on in there. He, he can't do it. He just can't do it. You don't think it. so? No. He's down a level here. He's going to get electrocuted. That was the choice. If, if that shock blast actually hit, okay. he would have died. TP comes in, they're gonna, that is they're going gonna to be gonna kill the kill. Sword. Yeah, they're going to kill Sword, but he was playing with fire or having a nice crescendo, but you oh, can yeah. see that everyone was mismatched in terms of where they actually wanted to disperse their damage. Tarzan lived. For the sliver of HP, Chovy from the south. They've been All right, so much. we have another fight up here as Chovy able to 1v1 down his mid lane opponent, Khan, trying to punish him here, is going to land that hook shot yeah, and Khan pick up the it. kill. Slow ends up coming out, but Chovy has quite a bit of damage. Ends up getting the teleport out from Khan, and then he's able to salvage the situation. 
Viper and Lehens were not able to make it there to add any extra benefit oh, for the team. Oh, and we have a fight in live as Khan is trying to kill Sword here, but he's got a stopwatch. Oh, away, Tarzan. He, yeah, he lands that axe, and Khan is going to be dead. Doesn't matter if he gets that speed up. As one not here, I can understand this, but the, those, he was. Those, those damn Clint, junglers. Uh, oh. also trying to get on top of him. This Take game. a look at the level across the board. There is a two or a three total level disparity in bottom line. Or I guess it's tortoise. Do you think that they should make a tortoise? So, yeah. Still waiting on that item. So we are gonna push this one down. Griffin. By effort, don't know um, what he was intending. Well, now we're just going to try to dive Gory here as the Pop Blossom goes off, but it doesn't matter. And now we're going to get on top of Effort as there is no turret here. They went way too far down the lane. Once again, a great crescendo, but that seismic stuff after the flash. Chovy kind of just styling right now. And that's the way it feels in this game as Griffin are once again pummeling another team. Yeah, and they might just actually try to go for the end right here. Yeah, it doesn't feel... Like they're showing any signs of stopping Griffin. Once they get this confidence, they're not known to back away. And they have so much wave clear. Just look at the, the bouncing there from the Sivir. Yeah, and Lahenz is juggling the aggro so well. That's yeah. the final Nexus turret. That's going to be the game, maybe. Should be. They're trying to jump in on this one and kill one more person. But Khan is going to end it in the stopwatch. And GG, the Nexus will go yeah, about 40 minutes until we do get into the next series. But this one was definitely one-sided. Griffin taking the 2-0 over SKT, they play well. So maybe that'll happen in the future. I'm gonna hand it over to Jisun. She'll help out with this translation. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much, guys. How was this game, Viper? It was a bit extended than normal games. So I was a little bit stressed out, but it's a really a big relief that we got the win. So Griffin is the first team to hit five victories in LCK. How do you feel right now? Overall, I think our concentration was really, really at the great level. So I'm really satisfied with our performance. Fight for your Zaya in game number one. Well, this is your first Zaya in LCK, actually. You played it in the World's Qualifiers and also Kesta Cup, but first time in LCK and it's on, it's on 3 and 0. Why did it take so long for you to play it in LCK? Well, I actually haven't thought of the reason. Well, maybe we had a better attempt to lock in in that different situation. In game number one, there were a lot of CCs on the side of SK Telecom, but you did not go to QSS. Did you trust Luhan? A lot? No, that's not it. Well, Zaya has her ultimate to survive, so I thought I didn't really need QSS. And the final team fight and their Elder Dragon. So how did you like choose your position in that situation? Well, I was so low in health, I just kind of backed off. And we actually did, really needed to get that Elder, so we just went back in. And somehow we just won that fight. And Tarsus, the ultimate was also very significant. And also the bike check was really impressive. Because you guys were very quiet. Well, yeah, we just don't talk a lot. But well, during fights, we are very, very silent. But after the fights, we are really excited. You know, we are always cheerful. But during the fights, we are actually very quiet. In game number two, SKT subbed in three players. So did you guys choose different strategy against the new SKT? Well, even though they changed their players in their roster, we just try to stick to our own plans and strategies. And Parzan in game number two, we also showed a great performance on Olaf. 
It's like you're, you also said that if you play Olaf, it's different even though it's not a very high tier champion. How are you so confident on that pick? The Olaf the champion itself? It's not a good champion. It's actually close to a bad champion, but I have um, I have a lot of confidence, so I know how to utilize it. Carson, you've seen your path and movements, like you know where the wars are. I don't really practice it, but I just play the game a lot, so I have good feelings and instincts. That's how you have a, such a high ladder in solo queue, I guess. And also game number two, Griffin. Maybe you guys understand Sona so well, you guys kind of counter it really well. You went with Peptomancy and Sivir. Well, Sona, you know, usually it goes with Peptomancy. So, getting my money, well, letting Sona to take away money away from me, it feels really bad. So I went with the double Klepto to fight against her. So it was actually, I was actually surprised that she didn't really go with Klepto. But, but I, know, I think it went well. Your next opponent will be Chinair. And you guys would like to bring this momentum rolling on, right? I'm gonna do our best with great performance and exciting game. Yeah. To pick up a win up against Jinair. What about you, Tarzan? Well, we're gonna focus and we will not let our guards down. And I'm gonna do my best to show the best performance of Griffin up against Jinair. Thank you very much for this interview. And this will be the end of the interview with Viper and Tarzan from Griffin. I'm gonna pass it back to the Thank you.